Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft for Dummies. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing passive and neutral mobs. Let's go! First things first, what is a passive mob? The Minecraft wiki defines a passive mob as a mob that will not attack even when provoked. These mobs spawn no matter what the difficulty setting is. There are seven passive mobs in the game, which are the bat, chicken, cow, mushroom, pig, and sheep. First of these mobs is the bat. The bat has six health points, drops nothing, gives no experience when killed. It spawns below level 63 in a light level of three or less. They are generally only found in caves. Next is the chicken. The chicken has four health points, and adults drop one to three experience when killed, and when bred, drop one to seven experience. They spawn on solid surface blocks with these two block spaces above them, have a one-eighth chance of spawning from a thrown egg, and can be bred with seeds. When killed, they drop either zero to two feathers and one raw chicken. A unique thing about the chicken is that they cannot take fall damage. Chickens float to the ground slowly, meaning you can't kill them by pushing them off a high structure. One of the most easily recognizable mobs in the game is the cow. Cows have 10 health points, drop 1 to 3 experience when the adult is killed, and drop 1 to 7 experience when bred with wheat. They spawn in opaque blocks with at least 2 blocks of space above them when bred or after shearing a mushroom. When killed, it drops 0 to 2 leather and 1 to 3 raw beef. The Mooshroom is a common staple of the Minecraft franchise. They have 10 health points, drop 1 to 3 experience when adults are killed, and 1 to 7 experience when bred with wheat. Mooshrooms spawn on mycelium blocks in the mushroom bi island biomes or when bred. They drop 0 to 2 leather and 1 to 3 raw beef when killed. Shearing one will drop 5 red mushrooms and will turn the Mooshroom into a normal cow. The pig is the next mob we will discuss. Pigs have 10 health points, drop 1 to 3 experience when killed, and 1 to 7 experience when bred with carrots, potatoes, and beetroot. They spawn on grass blocks with a light level of 9 or more. They drop 1 to 3 pork chops when killed. Pigs are one of the few mobs in the game that are rideable. They can be ridden with a saddle and a carrot on a stick. When struck by lightning, they can turn into zombie pigmen. Rabbits are a very versatile mob. Rabbits have 3 health points, give 1 to 3 experience when the adult is killed, and 1 to 7 experience when bred. They spawn naturally in deserts, flower forests, taiga, mega taiga, cold taiga, ice plains, ice mountains, and ice spikes biomes, as well as the hills and M variants of these biomes. They also can be bred with carrots, golden carrots, and dandelions. They will avoid players within 8 blocks, hostile mobs within 4 blocks, except for slimes, magma cubes, and ghasts, and wolves within 10 blocks. When killed, they drop 0 to 1 rabbit hide, which can be used to craft leather, 0 to 1 rot rabbit, and will rarely drop rabbit's foot. A violent variation of the rabbit which can manually sp be spawned in is the killer bunny which will be discussed in a later episode. The sheep is the last of the passive mobs. Sheep have 10 health points, give 1 to 3 experience when the adult is killed, and 1 to 7 experience when bred. Sheep spawn naturally on surface blocks. An interesting characteristic of the sheep is that it can be sheared for its wool. When sheared, sheeps give 1 to 3 wool. When killed, sheeps can drop 0 to 2 raw mutton and at least 1 wool. The next classification of mob we will be discussing today are neutral mobs. Neutral mobs are classified as mobs that will not attack unless provoked. Neutral mob classification includes 5 different types of mobs. Cave spiders, endermen, polar bears, spiders, and zombie pigmen. Cave spiders are smaller, uniquely colored versions of regular spiders. They spawn only in abandoned mine shafts and have 12 health points. They deal 2 health points of damage in easy mode, 2 health points plus poison in normal, and 3 plus poison in hard. When killed, they drop 5 experience, 0 to 2 string, and have a 1 third chance of dropping a spider eye. They are made neutral by bright light, which is daylight or light levels of 9 or higher but will always continue attacking once made hostile. 
They also can climb walls and are unaffected by poison or cobwebs. Endermen are also another popular staple of Minecraft. They can spawn in the overworld on a light level of 7 or less in the end and start in version 1.10, the nether. They have 40 health points, deal 4 health points of damage in easy mode, 7 in normal mode, and 10 in hard mode. When killed, they can drop 0 to 1 ender pearls and 5 experience. If they were holding a block, they will drop the block once killed. Endermen will be provoked if attacked or stared at. When provoked, they will open their mouths, shake with rage, and make it a loud, lengthy, and threatening sound. They are damaged by water and rain, and if damaged by these or another mob, will aggravated endermen will seize attacking the player. Endermen have the unique ability to teleport and will often do so when damaged or attacking. They cannot be aggravated or provoked if a player looks at them through a transparent block or while wearing a pumpkin. Polar Bear is one of the new mobs that will be added to Minecraft in version 1.10. They have 30 health points, deal 4 health points of damage in easy, 6 in normal, and 9 in hard. Only adults will attack players. When killed, they have a 3 fourths chance to drop 0 to 2 raw fish, and a 1 fourth chance to drop 0 to 2 raw salmon. Experience given is still unknown. Adult polar bears are always naturally paired with a cub. The cub is always passive. All adults will become hostile within a 41 by 41 to 42 cuboid if a cub is attacked. Adults will also become hostile towards players within a 21 by 21 by 21 cuboid of the adult if the cub is with a 16 by 16 by 8 cuboid of the adult. Polar bears can swim faster than players, making them difficult to get away from. The next mob to be discussed is the spider. Spider has 16 health points, deal 2 health points of damage in easy, 2 in normal, and 3 in hard. They drop 0 to 2 string when killed, and have a 1 third chance to drop a spider's eye and give 5 experience. They spawn on solid blocks in a 3x3x2 by by space with a light level of 7 or less. They are hostile in light levels of 11 or less in, or in the night and are neutral in the day. They can climb walls and will do so to attack a player even if they lose hostility. While they are not actually poisonous, spiders are unaffected by the poison status effect. There is a 1% chance that a spider will spawn with a skeleton on its back, forming a spider jockey. The last mob we will be discussing today is the Zombie Pigman. Zombie Pigmen have 20 health points and 2 armor points, deal 5 health points of damage in easy mode, 9 in normal, and 13 in hard. They spawn in any 2 block high space in the nether, when lightning strikes within 3 to 4 blocks of a pig in the overworld, or near another portal in the overworld. When killed, they drop 0 to 1 gold nuggets, and 0 to 1 rotten flesh. They also have a 2.5% chance to drop a gold ingot and an 8.5% chance to drop their sword. An adult drops 5 experience when killed and a baby drops 12. They are immune to fire and lava and in hard mode can break wooden doors. They are healed by harming status effect and harmed by healing. They are immune to poison and regeneration effects. If a pigman is attacked, then all pigmen from a 67 by 67 by 21 to a 111 by 111 by 21 area centered on the attacked pigmen will become hostile and attack the player. They will stay hostile for 20 to 39.95 seconds. And there you have it. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Next week we'll be discussing hostile mobs, and I hope you stay tuned for that. Uh, in the meantime, if you enjoyed the episode and found it informative, then uh, don't forget to leave a like down below, and if not, leave a dislike. Uh, also, don't forget to comment and subscribe for more creative and epic content. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.